Sometimes cracking packs is like throwing darts at the dartboard. Of course you're an amateur and you're just hoping something will stick. Maybe hit that bullseye, baby. We're gonna hope to hit that bullseye right freaking meow. Get a load of this beautiful, beautiful box of Modern Horizons 2 draft. I have not cracked a Modern Horizons 2 draft box probably since release. Oh my goodness. I know I cracked quite a few. But this one, this one's going out to Martin. That's right. Mr. Gagney. Let's freaking do this. Good luck. May the value never be on your side. This guy always tells me, he's like, Joey, do you hate me? I swear, he messages me all the time. Oh my God, you hate me again. I think, I think it's funny. I think it's a joke between him and I at this point. Um, but it's like I, won't, like, I won't reply for a little while, maybe a few days or whatever. And he's like, oh my God, you hate me. This is true. I'm like, Martin, I love you, pal. But man, no need for insecurities, my friend. Okay, you are beautiful. Let's do this. Uh, guys, we're looking for some big freaking value. Um, this is just weird for me cracking these. Ooh, mm, rip, off rip, Dragon's Rage Channeler. That's a freaking solid uncommon. And Wonder. Oh, brutal. Academy Manufacturer. Okay, we had a double rare pack there. Nothing too nuts, nothing too nuts. We are looking for the big kahunas, man. I'm telling you, this whole Modern Horizons 2... Um, with all these fetches in here, this is a product that's going to just go up and up and up and up and up and up and up, baby. Oh, bam! Oh, I thought we were going to hit it big. Nope. Small guy, small fry. All right. Nothing crazy there. Let me get these rares out of here real quick. Uh, what was the last pack you guys opened? What the heck was it? I wish someone could ask me that and like, it would be exciting to answer. It is exciting to answer, but because I open packs like every freaking day, it's just, uh, I don't know, it could be more exciting. Oh, that looks I like that card. Sarah's Emissary. Not the white freaking card we're looking for. We're looking for Solitude, right? That other one's nasty, but there's a beautiful angel for you, Martin. There you go, buddy. There you freaking go. There you freaking go, dude. So you got a foil that was not too fantastic a couple packs back. That's all right. Making big things happen, guys. Oh, man. Let's go. Cagney, do it. Do it. Watch this. This is going to be a freaking uh, a fetchy. Watch. You know how I know? Because I'm good. Bam! Oh, okay. I was just kidding about that, guys. I was, I was thinking <clears throat> the next pack is where the fetch lies. Oh, my God. Are there 36 packs in here? This is insanity, my friends. This is insanity. All right. We're looking for all them jewels. Bam. Good. Inevitable betrayal. You have been betrayed, my friend. There's no two ways about it with that pool right there. It wasn't inevitable betrayal like a few bucks when it first dropped. Like maybe five, six bucks. There's always speculation and hype around cards. But no such luck, man. Uh, it's sticking around there. Riptide Laboratory. Love this card. Do I do? It's true. Not bad. And Karth the Lonely Lion. Mm, what a foil. Obsidian Charma. Okay. So nothing, uh, nothing big. Nothing crazy. We're still looking... To raise funds for the new baby, okay? We're trying we're trying to get him in some uh in a onesie or two. So we need to pull a fetch. Uh or I would die if we freaking pull a solitude, man. It's been a while. And if we pull one out of a draft box, I'll be like, yeah, baby. Seal? I'm seeing Sharma. Oh, you just got double pounded, man. Ooh, the old thrust and dust. We'll see you later. Oh my goodness. Gag me. Oh. That was, that was not freaking pretty, dude. That was not pretty at all. All right, come on. Big stuff, big stuff. Sterling Grove. Nope. Profane Tutor. Sterling Grove's not bad. That's actually, yeah, it's a solid card. And Profane Tutor. No pretty foil there. But it's cool to see, like, double rare packs every now and then. So I'm probably going to make a video about it, guys. But this is true, man. The big news is coming. Here it is. Bam! Oh! Torak Dread Canthor, man. Torak Dread freaking Canthor. I love this card, but uh, it hasn't really done a whole lot yet. I got higher hopes for it down the road, but that's not what we're talking about. What we're, what we're speaking about here is some big things, man. Serial numbered cards coming to Magic the Gathering on the regular. Are you guys ready? Search the premises. Come on, man. 
That's not even cool. That's not even cool. We did get a couple, like two, two Mythics already. Both under 10 bucks. That's all right. Probably both under five bucks, actually. Um, but we need to hit them fetches, man. We need to hit like three fetches. Millican, Endurance. There you go. That's what Martin's old lady says when they hit the sack. There you, man. Bada freaking bing. Endurance hitting it up. Not bad at all. That's right. That gets a little love bell. Nice endurance pool. Nice endurance pool. But yeah, serial number cards coming to Magic on the regular. Uh, this is something... I'm going to make a whole video about it. We're going to discuss it. We're going to break it down. I'm going to show you some examples of stuff. We're going to get freaking crazy, guys. Okay? Territorial Cavu. No. Hunting pack. No, it's hunting whack. Ah, uh, crappers, trappers. Mr. Flappers. All right. Uh, but yeah, I did, I did see this one coming. And uh, I don't know if a lot of other people did. I think a lot of people were like, nah, probably not. But no one cares about bragging rights, you know? Like, I, I know I'm, I'm a douchebag. More like a skadooshbag. You like that? Mm-hmm. Seal removal. Bam! Oh, God. <sighs> Listen, pal. You're going to need to step it up in that rare slot. You did pull endurance, though. I kind of forget sometimes that we are opening a draft box. I'm so used to opening, like, crazy premium stuff. That when I go back to these, it's like humbling. Like it's really freaking cool. The Underworld Cookbook. Um, and I mean that in the most uh, skadoosh baggish way. Here it is. Oh no, but an Esper Sentinel. Hot dogs, baby. Very cool. It dropped all the way to like 10 bucks and start going back up, man. This puppy's going back up. Goblin. Um, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to say like five different things there. We're never going to say what it was. <laughs> but yeah. The serial numbered cards, I think, are going to be a big hit. I don't want to talk too much on it, but I'm going to talk for like a couple minutes here on it. So what does this mean? It means we're going to have cards that are actually highly sought after in every freaking set. If that's what they're doing. If that's what they plan. So tatty me bananas. If that's what they plan to do. Oh, and a foil void, uh, void mirror. That's sweet, man. See, these feel more special when you pull them. These retro frame foils. When they're not like, like in every pack, you know, like that feels nice. That void mirror is really cool. Nice little shiner to it. And I love the little like shooting star they have on there. It's just amazing. Oh, one more thing on the shooting star topic. I went out for uh, a walk, like jog with my buddy late at night. My, my friend, Bob, not a Domo for once. I know it's nuts, guys. God, I knew it was coming. Oh, man, every freaking pack we knew it was coming. Oh, there you go, buddy. Hot dogs. Ah, oh, Gagney, you like that? Nice, misty rainforest. That's a solid, solid pool. We're going to throw that right there in the same pile as all the other guards. I go through them and sleep up all the goodies. Don't you guys freaking worry. Actually, we're going to put that one uh, way up here. Bam, there we go. Uh, the other night, no, that, not the other night. This is like a while ago. I might, I, might have, I might have told you guys about this one already. Squirrel up. Look at that guy biting his own nuts, huh? Urza Saga hiding in the back. Suck it, man. This box cost, uh, uh, how much? 200 I think it was like 235 bucks. I think. After tax and shipping and all that crap. Not bad. But back to the shooting stars. I was unaware there was a meteor shower going on. This is maybe like oh, two weeks ago. I think it was a Monday night. I helped my buddy. It was late at night. Uh, oh, we got an extended art. We do, we do. Beep. Oh, sick bastard. Look at that, man. Goodness grief. Good grief. Oh, look, at it looks like a little, uh, like a dinosaur or something. You see that? Yeah. Like a brontosaurus head. You see that? You guys see it? You, now you see it. Nice freaking grief pool. Damn sun. The box is lighting up. I mean, if we continue at this rate, yeah, you're looking at freaking pulling at least. Like 300 bucks in value out of one of these. That's pretty good. And if that's the case, I might have to get myself a personal one. Soul Snare. Oh, Marsh Flats, you sick SOB again. Doing big things. 41 shooting stars in the sky that night. We counted them. We counted every single freaking one. We saw one and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then we saw one like soon after that. So I'm like, dude, we just saw two. Like, I, I never even like see one ever. But we just saw two, like, within a couple minutes. So then we started counting, like, I don't want to see, see any more, you know? And uh, sure enough, we did. Uh, 41 in all. It was nuts. And some were huge shooting across the sky. I was like, oh, my God, man, blinding my eye. No, but it was really big. Like, it looked like, at, at some point, like, sometimes it looked like an orb. 
like just, like just boom, boom, right across, man. It was insanity, but really cool experience. I'll probably never uh, uh, witness again. There's patriarchs biting, bidding, bidding. Yep, in general, I get furious when I see this guy. I don't want to pull him again. You're done. You're out of here, general. Sorry, your work here is done. But yeah, uh, you ever see a shooting star? I want to hear the story. Who were you with? Were you by yourself? Were you laying down, you know? Maybe you were down in the old sand dunes rolling around, playing footsie with yourself. Gorilla Shaman. Oh, Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. Dude, you got a good box. There we go. Uh, this might be like, what, 10, 15 bucks maybe? Not bad. We'll put that in the cool pile too. I know we missed the endurance. Should we go now? Are you guys all cringing right now? Because we didn't grab the endurance. And you're like, why do you need the endurance down here? Here, we'll throw the uh, Sarah's Emissary over here. Riptide's dope. Uh, we'll throw Tarek. Torak Hunter. Who remembers that game? Endurance. Yeah, you got uh, over probably 150 bucks in value right now. Maybe. I could be wrong. I'm used to opening like the extended art stuff and those prices with the foils, so I could be off about that. Here we go. Oh, get, get another big hit. Karmic Guide. Not what we were looking for. That's okay, though. Behind that, Priest of Felrites with Arcbound Prototype. Really cool. Uh, yeah, Cagney's a uh, patron. He's been just bothering the living shit out of me for me to open him a box. And I'm like, dude, all right, I got you. No, I was, I was more than happy to. Um, <laughs> you know what happened? Like, I, I almost wasn't, you know, because, like, I didn't know. I think he wanted, like, a one of the new sets, you know, like a Midnight Hunt or something like that or Crimson Vow. And I told him, dude, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I'm not going to open that. I already have enough of that. We have way too much of that product going around. As Moranga dang a fring. Uh, so he backed off. And then he like sent me a couple messages and there was no response. And then next thing I know, my PayPal gets hit up with like 230 bucks or something like that. Or like 240, maybe 250. I can't remember what it was. Something like that. And he's like, I need that box, bro. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I had no choice. Garth one eye. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was fun to pull in the very beginning <coughs> when the set first dropped. I was like, "This is value, behold here, man." But yeah. Anyway, so Cagney, okay, man, good, good luck. You're, you're you're already killing it right now, man. Really cool. One more big hit. Bam! Ah, oh, not bad. This is a card. It's gonna be like twenty bucks, man. In like a couple years, twenty bucks. Watch. We're gonna put that in the cool pile. Bet me. Get off me, bros. Bet me though. Um, yeah, so the serial numbered card, since we're so freaking scatterbrained, I know it's nuts, Joey's off his meds again, it's crazy, guys. Um, the serial numbered cards are gonna be sweet. I hope they do it, again, I don't give too much detail, I hope they do it something like, uh, how Bowman Chrome does it, but not to the extent, you know, like, I would love to see a, a, a serial numbered card one on one. uh, Another set, I mean, for Magic, I don't know, maybe uh, the 101 for sure, and that better be like like signed by the artist, 101. Like that's how they're going to do it, putting like a serial number stamp on it, that'd be freaking dope. Here's a fetch. Oh, Sylvan Anthem, not Sylvan Library. But I'd like to see the 101, so only one copy exists. And then I'm thinking like number to 10, number to 25... Oh, maybe that's too much. Maybe that's probably asking too much for Magic already. And I was going to say the number to 50, 100, 500, you know, stuff like that. But maybe it'd be better if they do something like numbered to, like the 101, number to 25. Ooh, they're freaking dope, man. Uh, number to 100, number to 500, and maybe number to 5,000 with the serial numbered cards. Very freaking cool. Uh, sea and Sky. I'm going to call it Sea and Sky Belly. I don't know why. I just feel like Sea and Sky Belly. But, yeah, I think that'd be great. So, 101, number to 25, number to 100, number to 500, uh, number to 5,000. Call it a day. You know? They don't have to do that. No, the Wizards do that. You know, something like that. Um, I hope they don't get too crazy carried away, though. And now, of course, there's also going to be... There is also going to be, uh, like, variants... You know, but I just hope they don't get too carried away like Bowman Chrome and do numbered 101, number to five, number to 10, number to 15, number to 25, number to number to 30. Number, they get really freaking crazy there, man. But uh, the oh, sign of Draco, your mythic is getting a little weak sauce, man. You know what we need to do? We got to pull the big guns. We got to pull the big guns. A lot of mythics, though. Um, a lot of freaking mythics. But value on those cards are going to be really high. Bet your freaking bottom dollar. They're going to be pretty high, man. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm, 
I love playing the game, but you know what I love more? Actually, it's it's a it's 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 even. It's evenly balanced. There's a boss. Yeah, it's it's even. I love collecting as well, and I love collecting things of value. I love I, I love having something someone else wants. You know, that's very desirable. I like that. It makes it neat. It makes it precious. Um, Mishra's. Oh, here we go. God, yeah. Oh, I was feeling it. Did you feel that thunder from down under? The freaking solitude finally shows up. It's been forever. This is like a $50, $60 card, bro. You are killing it. This video is not going to air on YouTube. I guarantee I'll delete it. Um, yeah. Everything I just said and then some. Oh, that solitude threw me off so good. But I'm really happy that it did. Oh, man. You did. You did. You're doing good, man. I mean, I'd say one more hit. And, and wow. You know? Um, you don't even need another hit. You could stop right here. I'll keep these two packs. Forget about it. You know, you don't got to talk about this. Never happened. Uh, but yeah, uh, serial number cards. Let me hear your guys' thoughts. So when I do make a video, I can share, you know, uh, the, your guys' uh, views and opinions on that, you know. Bam, Imperial Recruiter. This is like an eight mythic box. Really good. Imperial freaking Recruiter, mythic and out of time. Why do I always end without a freaking time? It's nutty. It's not so sauce, man. Last pack to crack. What? Oh, what are you going to get? I have a feeling it's going to be a dud. No, it'll be a fetch. Fetch or dud. No, no, no other option here. Rise and shine. There you go. And behind that door, a chrome courier. All right, nothing enough. Um, but yeah, let me hear it, man. Um, thanks, guys, for tuning into this one. Martin, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for being a loyal patron for so long. Uh, yeah, I mean, if anyone harasses me enough, I'll definitely uh, end up doing a, a box for them, you know, on a breaking one. Uh, but it's got to be like something I agree to. Like I'm just going to open the latest set after I just opened 20 because that's like no one gives a damn. No one wants to see that crap anymore, you know. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, big, uh, big thanks for tuning into this one. Um, yeah, patron link in the description of every video. Patrons, don't cut my laptop yet. I'm not going to have it till about the third. And that's when you're going to see a huge. I'm sorry I haven't replied to anyone's messages. Uh, shipping's on the way. Um, but right now, with everything going on, I'm just holding off. I don't know what it is. I get anxiety if I don't reply. Like if something's stopping me from re like re from replying, like having my laptop, I could reply otherwise. But when I'm on my laptop, it's more organized. I can, I, I can do it from a desktop also, but I'm not always uh, where I'm at right now. And I don't know. I just I get anxiety sometimes, and then I let it sit for a while. But on the third, guys. 100%, I'll have my laptop, and uh, and we're going to rock and freaking roll. And also, this weekend, look for box breaks and that stuff. Oh, actually, I can't even, I can't, I can't even do that right now. I have to wait till I get, well, I, I could, maybe. We're going to see how it goes. I'm just talking to myself now. Joey rambling, everyone loves it. All right, no, no, okay, we'll see. It's good news, bags.